One, go. Hello, my name's Mandy Parry. I'm a fertility coach. I work for a company called Motherhood Dreams and I've been asked by Russell to make a short video for Active Parent. Action. Action Parent, telling you a bit about what I do and uh, giving you some top tips if you're going through a similar challenge. Um, I went through six years of fertility treatment. I had seven IVFs. I went through an awful lot of disappointment and heartache and spent around £60,000. Um, then I had my little girl in 2010. Uh, the experience, I learned so much, it made me want to help other people in similar straits. And my heart goes out to you if it does affect you. First thing I want to say is walk away from people who tell you to just relax. That's a complete load of rubbish. If you are in the position of desperately wanting a child and it not happening naturally, the first thing I want to tell you is to get active, uh, get tested, talk to your doctor, um, and more than that, become an expert on the subject. If certain things like endometriosis or biconal uterus affect you, find out everything you possibly need to know about that particular condition and make science work for you. Don't expect the experts to do the thinking for you. You need to be, first and foremost, your own expert. Uh, second thing I want you to do is to make up your mind that you will be a parent. Um, it will happen. It will happen because you will make it happen. Um, you don't know how it's going to happen, if it's going to be tricky for you. Uh, be as flexible as you need to be to make it happen. But if you say to yourself, it will happen sooner or later, that generally takes quite a lot of stress off. Um, get support. Support is really, really important. You might find yourself as completely isolated amongst a, a whole group of people who love you and want the best for you but just don't get what you're going through. So uh, I would advise an online support group or an in-person support group that you may have to start yourself. Join organisations, Infertility Network UK, there's loads and loads of organisations out there that can help you. And don't expect, as I say, your nearest and dearest to get exactly what you're on about because um, there's certain, certain aspects of this struggle that are unique and uh, only people who've been through it really get it. So uh, yeah, get support for yourself and make sure it's the best quality you possibly can get. Um, have a plan. Plan what you're going to do um, and if that plan doesn't work, simply review it and plan what you're going to do next. Plan, do, review. That's what made me sane really. Rather than having one course of action and expecting it all to work out beautifully, that was the way to heartache really. Just keep thinking, okay, here's my next plan, I'm going to do it and now I'm going to review it as to what I need to do differently next time. Um, you're going to need money. If you need fertility treatment, you're going to need an awful lot more money than maybe you've ever come across before. So my advice generally is to be very, very creative. Uh, this is where your support group is really going to come in useful. Um, and, and see what other people are doing. Uh, if, if you're unused to spending vast sums of money on a punt, which is basically what IVF is, take a deep breath and think, well, I'm in the same boat as everybody else, and learn to play the stats. If your local clinic is near and friendly and feels right, it may not be as good as one that's farther away and more expensive, but the stats are a lot better. So there's some hard decisions to make there. Um, be creative, as I say. Think about assets that you've already got like property, like renting, think about things that you can sell, things about extra work, skills that you can sell. Um, that's probably, it, it may take a lot of the uh, attention and focus off your fertility struggle because you're having to give so much attention to other things like fundraising. I find that actually helped my stress levels, if anything. Um, the other thing I want to say is... Uh, your struggle is really, really important in that it's probably the key issue that you'll ever have to address in your life to be a parent. If that's what you want and it's a big struggle, I'm here to tell you that 
it is worth it. It is worth every single painful step along the way. Um, and I needed other people to tell me that, so I'm telling you that right now. Finally, uh, what I've again discovered looking back, beginning, middle and end of the struggle, is, is this, that the qualities that I needed while going through fertility treatment, and those qualities were persistence, hard work, creativity, strength of character and courage, all those things are all the qualities that you will need to be a fabulous parent when that happens. So that only leaves me to say, uh, check out my website, www.motherhooddreams, and uh, maybe I'll speak to you because I offer you a 20 minute consultation. If you've seen this video, check me out, check out my website. <laughs> And um, let's talk. Good luck, whatever happens.